Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about my top 3 picks in my whole collection and the bottom 3 picks in my collection. And I've done all my makeup today and I will show small clips of the makeup look that I can do with my top 3 picks and my bottom 3 picks. So please enjoy. So my eye color first pick in my collection is Too Faced Natural Lust uh, Eyeshadow Palette. This is a really big eyeshadow palette as you can see it's like bigger than my face. It has a lot of shades. It's a lot of shades. It has 30 shades. Very usable beautiful shades here. I think this two rows is a bit more lighter than I want. But it's very usable as well I think. It might be a bit more silvery for people who is a little bit darker. And you have like darker shades down here. It's really warm the palette overall but you have like some fun shades down here. You have a matte black which is really really important. You have a teal shade that I love. You have a purplish like lilac shade down here. You have a bit more silver tone on the bottom room but the rest of the palette it feels a lot like the modern renaissance eyeshadow palette and it's a very very versatile and it's a very very versatile eyeshadow palette I've done a look with just a few shades here I've used uh, Sex Drive Come and Get It Take it, take the Kick Pine It Down and also Flirt Pop The shade name is a bit more naughty than you want Maybe you are not as comfortable buying this I should have palette because of the names. You know that Too Faced love like playing with like sex jokes and all that kind of name. So maybe this won't be the palette for you. And this isn't the highest quality eyeshadow palette I've tried. Um but it's because of the array of shade, overall quality and it's just a very well rounded palette that I really really love from them. And I've done a lot of like looks with this eyeshadow palette that I really really enjoy. And this is the one exception palette that's like paper uh, in a cardboard format that I don't hate from Too Faced. There's a lot of like cardboard collection, cardboard like eyeshadow palette collection that I didn't like from Too Faced. And this one is one exception. The second eyeshadow palette is from Natasha Denona, their Metropolis palette, which is their 2019 holiday collection. Really, really beautiful eyeshadow palette. As you can see, like you can see the divots. It's a very, very colorful, a bit more warm, a bit more greenish, bluish, but a lot of warm. You can see the orange, you can see them really deep black, uh, not deep blacks, but deep mattes. And the overall quality of the eyeshadow palette is very very good. Uh, I like this plate. You can like sort of don't make the mirror dirty. And then the shade name. This palette is really petite, petite as well so that you can see there's not a lot of like material being waste. I really like the overall material. I kind of like this um, faux leather kind of like a texture they have a lot of like high quality eyeshadow in this palette especially with the creamy mattes they have like exceptional like mattes in here it's a very blendable it's very poppy it's very very colorful and i really really enjoy the quality of the eyeshadow here it's very easy to blend there were a, quite a bit of like repetition in terms of like the gold shade here um they do look quite similar but there's a hint of difference between like the warmer golds and the cooler golds but um they have like five kind of like gold shimmer shades here if you don't really like gold shimmer shade maybe you won't like this palette and i think um her palettes are quite expensive maybe you have to save it on it I have like maybe two eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona and that I swear by I love it so much 
and I think that maybe you just need one of like her palettes and you are good to go you don't need extra eyeshadow for any look maybe you need a matte black or you need like a like black liner to like darken up things up but overall this palette it really stands for itself so that palette is I'm torn between the Jackie Aina palette and the Too Faced like gingerbread eyeshadow palette but this one is sort of like within this palette kind of like they just they are like kind of overlap but this one is like a limited edition and you, I think you can still buy this one and for the Jackie Aina eyeshadow palette it, it is just really one of the best eyeshadow palette I've tried from ABH. I like the Prism palette from their like limited edition but some of the shades for example their neon shades weren't as, weren't as good but this eyeshadow palette it looks quite it doesn't look as coherent as you might think but it's very very wearable it's very everyday you can make a very dramatic look from her eyeshadows and I think one of the things is that I really love Jackie Aina. I think she's really funny. Some people might think like sometimes she might go overboard with some of the things that she does. But overall, she's a very interesting person to watch on YouTube and she's very down to earth, very real and I really really think that she does a really good job in how she brands herself and I really enjoy her eyeshadow palette still today this is one of the best eyeshadow palette even though it's like the third eyeshadow palette i mentioned but it's very up my alley i don't really particularly like purple eyeshadow and i don't particularly love purple but purple eyeshadow pinkish eyeshadow is just staple in like my eyeshadow look and i really really love using this palette and the purples are great here exceptional also i want to mention this this is like a drugstore eyeshadow palette that's like very polished it's from australia this is the neutralized nude eyeshadow palette i've like done a review on this one this one is not very expensive and it is phenomenal with the quality of eyeshadow this one really does like win everything because it's so good i really really love this eyeshadow palette so if you are in a budget and you're in australia hi this is an exceptional eyeshadow palette and i think their brand is really really good with their products so if you really love the products you can try this one so now comes the bottom three from my eyeshadow palette collection. Unfortunately, the first one is from ABH. It's the Alyssa Edwards eyeshadow palette. You can see I don't really use it. It's still really pretty fresh and clean. I don't really love it because some of the shade you just weren't as good as I thought. It's a bit more dry, especially with the purple and blue shades. Some of the shades they muddle up together, they look a bit like very light, very. They change color, they don't like work as well. Like the quad in the like first part of here, they work nice. I think the yellow is pretty good this shade and, and the purple like shade these two shades they are very similar i think these two shades are fine but the wonky shades are the, like the purple shade here which um i mean this palette looks so much fun do you think it's so fun to play with this palette but it's not it's not working it's not like the best quality ABH eyeshadow I've ever tried. I've tried ABH Prism, like Jackie Aina palette, and their like Modern Renaissance palette, and it's so great. But this one just weren't it. That's really unfortunate.
I think the second I shot the pellet that I would <laughs> like slam on would be I don't want to say slam on but it's like I don't like it so well let's just stick with I don't like it um this one pretty rich collection the diamond light eyeshadow palette I don't like this eyeshadow palette like it's difficult to open the shades are really beautiful but like the self sticking glitter they don't work that much I don't like it it's very gritty I don't like glitters like some people really like glitters but for me I like those like creamy texture like those eyeshadow um like cream cream eyeshadow or like those um you like this um i don't know what brand that sigma no i don't like this palette it's not the best like two face eyeshadow palette i've like thrown away some eye uh, two face eyeshadow palette that's not that's even worse than this one but this one isn't my the color is really my vibe because I do like a cool tone eyeshadow but it, it just doesn't work as well the four diamond shape like eyeshadow there like pressed glitter that you don't need like uh, adhesive to use it but it doesn't really work it's a bit dry and you have to use those like silicon uh, applicators to apply on and they're hard to apply on the shimmer shade aren't really like that spectacular it's more like a hint of shine less of like really shiny the black shade is glittered I don't like glittered like black shades some black shades have glitter in it to have a bit more emollient in it because it's very difficult to make so that they add in some sparkles to make it more emollient so that they can like add some oil into the formula to make it more like easier to use but this one I don't really like it um it's a bit of like a disappointment so um yeah I think the last one I've just reviewed is like the Stone 5 collection, like the Stone 5 Jewel Tone eyeshadow palette from uh, Urban Decay. That one really s sucks because I don't know what to expect from that eyeshadow palette. You look at the eyeshadow palette it's really beautiful but it's very flaky it's not that opaque and I didn't enjoy the experience when I was like using the eyeshadow palette because it wasn't opaque I was trying to like pile that on so to prove that I'm like trying really hard to use the eyeshadow but it didn't work and it's not an enjoyable experience to like paint on and paint on and try to make it work and show you that I try to work the eyeshadow so hard but it didn't turn out so that's really unfortunate so um, this is a really really short video but um, I will show you the clips that I've, I've put on the eyeshadow palette I hope you like this video. I hope you enjoy watching like some of the things that I love, some of the things that I don't like. And here's the first video of like things that I like, things that I don't like. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I see, I will see you, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye for now.